Um, say a video response to Piro. Um, I, I just watched your last video on materialism. Or, um, it's not material. It's material. I can't, I can't remember the name. Fuck it. Um, but I made this video for to address um, just a concern that came up into my mind about uh, spiritualism, and uh, I associate it with uh, hope and faith and all that horseshit, bullshit, batshit, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And uh, yeah, I do bad mouth occasionally. Uh, relieves stress, I suppose. Um, don't take it personally. You take a lot of shit personally. Don't do it. Um, I'm just talking about faith, hope, and especially spirituality. Um, and they're all absolute wastes of time. Absolutely. Um... Why? Why do I say that? It's, it's kind of difficult to explain, but I'll, I'll try. Um, how to do this without insulting people? I could just say, hey, you know, 50% of the people on the planet are fucking stupid, fuck them. 50% of the people are less educated than 50% of the other people. 50% of the people are less of something than 50% of the other people. And, uh, you know, I don't expect... Um, everyone that reads this or hears this or sees this to understand where I'm coming from. Um, but for those that do, you know, it'll make sense. Um, I guess I kind of thought that it's, it's like, uh, gradient, uh, what's it called, um, the curve, like a bell curve, there's another name for it, um, you know what essentially is, a bell curve, um, and you could look at it like a two-dimensional thing, uh, with a X, or excuse me, X and Y, and, uh, and a measure from zero to 100 or 200 or whatever, um, or you can look at it as uh, core, like uh, I'm I'm at my own core, and there are people closer to that core than me, and then the people that are, you know, less and less and less like me are farther from the core, um, which I prefer to look at it as that more than a bell curve because a bell curve, you know, just it doesn't say enough. I really think that we should start uh, as fucking intelligent, stupid humans. <laughs> as um as teachers, you know, humans sharing information with one another. Um, I believe that we should start presenting each other with more three-dimensional graphs to represent um, multi-dimensional concepts um, as opposed to uh, linear concepts, you know, zero to one, you know, or even two-dimensional concepts like the bell curve. But, 
yeah, there's going to be a lot of people. I, I obviously that are going to be on the surface of the earth, and I'll be at the core. Or, um, center of our own universe, of our own perspective. So anyway, um, faith, hope, spirituality, all that bullshit that religion feeds off of. Um, spirituality. of time. Uh, teach children logic and reason and uh, rational methods for figuring things out and we won't be in a world where any of those concepts hold any water at all. And uh, rightly so. If we are heading in that direction, keep going. You know, um, now, if there are people that still want to act like animals, or if there are people who want to live at any time in the past, um, and we are animals, obviously, but, um, but if there are beings that want to live at any point in time throughout the past, then, you know, I think we just need to, uh, should we, do we need to create little pockets for them to live in, um, they can dress up and be, uh, I don't know, go out in the field somewhere and swing swords at each other, do it for reals. But, overall, it's a waste of time, metaphysics along with it, and, uh, I did enjoy saying that you know, it's pretty much bullshit and I like the idea of synthetic truth um, it is it all goes back to nothing um, zero and from that the patterns emerge um, with your positives and your negatives and your you know, right spins left spins and uh, vibrations Vibrate up, vibrate down. Yeah. Um, but that's just thinking along the lines of particles. Um, you know, in this universe that we live in, it, you know, as far as material and matter goes, um, I've been thinking a bit about like the Higgs field and the Higgs boson, and uh, I almost think of it like a, like a sheet of water, you know, very thin, almost two-dimensional, um, and that, that sheet's kind of waving. Attraction and repulsion, and uh, you know, maybe you can imagine like a dark energy being a downward force, and gravity being an upward force, and uh, or even material, material, physical material. Maybe it's almost a, an upward force where maybe a single drop, I mean like for a particle, for instance, <coughs> could be a single drop of water that separates itself from the sheet. And then, uh, you know, you annihilate that with some sort of uh, antiparticle or something that uh, maybe the, maybe the sheet 
later move back down just in that spot I mean you take that little spot expand it out same thing um, maybe after it did that it, it you know went up it went down and uh, from that a drop you know, of uh, antiparticle so particle antiparticle and it could happen uh, Here we are. Now, um, spiritualism. Um, look at, look at history, look at the known. You know, I, I hate to equate it to something like this, but to bring it back to the sort of curve and the, the sheet, excuse me, um, You know, there is wanting to know and uh, just admission of ignorance. And, uh, and then there's uh, assuming, you know, and uh, informing things from the assumption. Just fucking going on almost nothing. It just, it just gets worse and worse. So all of that, all that spiritualism and hope and faith and everything. Um, not good. Not, not good. Sure, maybe it shows up as something in the brain, some electrical activity. Uh, maybe there's a certain amount of chemicals, uh, serotonin, I think, um, oxytocin, yeah, maybe dopamine. Actually, dopamine. Maybe one of the bigger ones. You know, since the oxytocin, like the trust, and the, uh, Serotonin for the uh, what's the word? I don't know. Um, salience and um, oxytocin for the uh, or excuse me, um, serotonin for self esteem. you really wanted to yeah you know, I I started responding to you because you mentioned dark energy and I've always kind of seen dark energy as It's exactly, I've heard so many different cosmologists and physicists and people use different uh, comparisons. But, I mean, this, this stuff, as far as the universe goes, it's just... pattern. Who was it that said, uh, you know, 
chaos in order. If the universe is in order, we are the chaos, then inside of us, you know, maybe we're in just a little bit of order. You can go down scales, you can do it like a back and forth, you know, chaos, order, you know, you know, and go from, you know, scale size, you know, um, and go back and forth from the whole universe, you know, to galaxies or something, uh, you know, not galaxies, better, clusters, filaments, <sighs> so you could say that, you know, the whole galaxy, or the whole universe, excuse me, um, is one or the other, I don't know, that seems like always chaos in order, um, no, um, and yeah, I still want to respond to your video, but I don't know when to, um, the one where you made, acknowledging me, uh, in video, um, thought about it though, I enjoyed you talking to, uh, Day more than I enjoy your response to me because I felt like I obliged. No, I don't like that. I don't like to feel like I have to do something. That's why uh, I didn't like school. I just want to be free. As free as I can possibly be. And no modern definition of freedom comes anywhere close to the kind of free that um, I think about when I think free I, you know, a good comparison would just be being a, a wild animal um, but you know free thinking I'm glad uh, that's become popular recently but it's hard, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to really be free in, uh, in this universe where everything is predetermined by the past. You know, the patterns. You mentioned fractals. Yeah. And, uh, regression. Those patterns do show up, large scales and small scales, um, but eventually, you know, they, st like a spiral, they stop, you know, or they become so insignificant, almost like any of us are, as you know, like, um, somebody with more fame, maybe a larger swirl. You know, the more books you write, the more information you put out into the universe, and the universe, you know, absorbs it and adds it to their patterns, you know, overall, it kind of becomes its own giant spiral with a little, I don't know if I'm using the word right, you know, little recursion. just two-dimensional either. It's not just three-dimensional. So, alright. 20-minute video. See ya.